Morning. Hey, right, today we're headed out to Weasley or uh, Wesley, Iowa. I, I don't know how you say it. Heading out to Wesley, Iowa to get a 1952 Chevrolet 4400 flatbed.
Well, here it is. It's gonna film the whole loading process, but I forgot to hit the record button. Oops. Fired right up and drove right on. I think it wants to come home with me. That ain't too bad. It's all wooden underneath, Brady. Which, I was thinking that was all steel beams in there, but actually it's it's pretty clean, but being a Iowa corn truck, you know. It's got a brake light, that's it, but never had turn signals. Even the tires ain't bad. gonna tie this up back sure why not I should pull the keys out so that doesn't go through a hole in the floor Here we go, back to Wisconsin.
That side's still tight. Was it? Good. Got a long ways to go on, a short time to get there. Five and a half hours one way back home. We're about at the halfway point here. Everything's holding together really good. So far, no smoking hubs. Man, this whole girl is sure solid. This little tiny hole there. Other than that, she is. Super pretty good. Frickin' made her, Brady. Well, here we go. 
home safe and sound well, 660 miles later let's come back in the daylight and give it a formal introduction all right here we are back in the daylight man what a fun trip that was it was about 12 hours round trip everything went really really well no breakdowns no issues and a huge thanks to my buddy brady that took a day away from the farm and even lent the truck and trailer to us to go get it came along and helped it's a pretty good time I get this headliner out of my way sometime here. Okay. Oops. Wow. Nineteen fifty two Chevrolet forty four hundred green truck. And the hoist does work. Even a five window. She needs a little glass work. And allegedly the twenty nine thousand miles that it displays is original. And I almost gotta believe it. Seat material. That looks original, even though somebody had way too many uh Jalapenos on their pre-dinner salad the night before and decided to haul grain. Oof. They even got a dome light. And I am almost willing to bet that the paint on here is original. I don't see any signs of overspray or anything. And even how this comes into here, it's masked off to where the exterior color ended and interior color began. I mean, unless somebody completely stripped this thing at one point in its life and repainted it, which could have very well happened. But being a gold grain truck or a farm truck, it probably would have just got quickly masked off and sprayed. I don't see any evidence of a quick masking job, and I hardly doubt those have ever been out of there. Let's see if we got the three star. Got the good old truck and mirrors. And under the hood, she's sporting the old stove bolt 235. But it didn't give you a whole lot of room for error in that placement of the fan. Not sure it went through there, but it appears to be sporting the glove. Yeah, brand new fuel pump, all new ignition, fuel filter. I'm guessing this is broken as to why that don't match anymore. Maybe it just needs a little bit of oil. Mouse droppings. Seems to be missing two bolts. Seems to work pretty darn good. Here's a little bit of greasing. Frame's never been touched, which is kind of unusual. Usually, a lot of times they'll be sliced for extending or shortening. I wonder how much of this stuff takes grease. Probably none of it. How many lights work? Negative. Negative. I wonder if maybe these are on a separate switch. Alright, what other switches do we have in here? What's that one do? Nothing. What's this one do? Nothing. We got none taillights. 
Yeah, this here is for your fresh air intake there on the old cowl. And I think this is for the two speed rear end. Broken exhaust stud, that's pretty much standard equipped on a 70 year old inline six. Generator still works. It's got new hoses on it. Valve cover leaks like a sieve. So why wouldn't it? Stupid cork gaskets. Everything just everything just needs a little bit of oil. Well, there you have it. First look at the. Uh, 1952 Chevrolet 4400. I'm really, really looking forward to getting this thing on the road. Just a really cool old truck, and like I said, I've wanted one of these for quite some time. You, what have you got in here? Oh, Hancock. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and shoot us a like. Hopefully before winter time comes we can get this thing a little more wrapped up and drivable. So, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.